morning boys and girls. Today is Thursday, April 9th. Yesterday I really enjoyed hearing you read. I could tell that so many of you were really thinking about the characters and how they were feeling. And then when you had them talk, you really showed the expression. Today when I read our story, let's see if I could do the same thing. Yesterday, my question of the day was what why do you think this happened in the book? And so many of you talked about Annie being stuck in the mud. I had the same question. Why did this happen? So why did Annie get stuck in the mud? Hmm, I said, I think it's because Annie thinks about the animals before she thinks about herself. She was so concerned that the wildebeest could cross the river, she ran without thinking about her own safety. That told me a little bit more about Annie, and she thinks of others before she thinks of herself. Today, we have another chapter in our book. Today, our chapter is called, Ha Ha. I wonder what that means. Let's get started. Someone's already talking in our story. Oh, no, 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 shouted Annie. She raced down the bank until she reached a sandy, clear spot. Here, here, she called. The wildebeest followed her with their wild eyes. Jack watched in disbelief as the swimmers changed their course. Slowly, all the wildebeest swam to where Annie stood. She waved them in a trap like a traffic policeman. Jack grabbed his backpack. Annie, he cried, let's go before we get trampled. Keep it up, she shouted to the wildebeest as she, shook off after, as she took off after Jack. They ran farther up the river, away from the incoming wildebeest. Finally, they stopped to catch their breath. They looked back. Everything seemed fine. The wildebeest were scrambling safely over the riverbank. Soon they would graze on the grass prepared by the zebras. Good work, Jack said to Annie. Thanks, she said. Okay, now for our riddle. No, first we've got to get clean, said Jack. You look like you're in a mud suit. High-pitched laughter rang around the air. It sounded mocking and mean. Jack and Annie turned around. They saw two spotted brown animals standing in the tall grass. The creatures had bodies like dogs, but with sloping backs. They laughed again. Ha ha, said Annie. You don't look so great yourself. What are they, said Jack. He took out the book. He tried not to get mud on it as he looked for a picture. On the African plains, the hyena is a ruling predator after the lion. It makes a sound similar to a high-pitched human laugh. What's predator mean, said Annie. It means it catches things and eats them, said Jack. Oh, said Annie. Yuck. The two hyenas laughed again, and they moved closer to Jack and Annie. Quietly, Jack read more. The hyena has a reputation for being a thief and a coward. Let's see if they're cowards, whispered Annie. Let's try to scare them. The hyenas laughed and moved a little closer. How? Jack asked. Act like a monster, said Annie. Now! Jack and Annie made terrible monster faces. They put up their hands and rushed at the hyenas. Arr! They shouted. The hyenas yelped and scurried off. Scaredy cats, Annie shouted after them. Come on, said Jack. Annie and Jack took off in the directions. They ran around a bend in the river. Jack heard the hyena laughter again. It sounded far away. Good, he said. They're gone. Hey, maybe we can wash over there, said Annie. She pointed to the edge of the forest. There was a small pond surrounded by tall grass. Zebras were drinking the water. Yeah, said Jack. If it's safe enough for them to drink, the zebras ignored them as they walked toward the pond. When they reached the edge of the water, Jack set his heavy back down on the ground. He glanced around. No lions were in sight. But then he heard something. On the far side of the pond, something very big was coming out of the trees. Boys and girls, here's my question of the day. It has to do with 
lions at lunchtime. I'm going to ask today, what do you predict is coming out of the trees? It's very big. Today, tell me what that is and why you think so. I can't wait to hear some more of your answers. Remember, you're going to check the blog every morning to view the morning message. Then, you're going to look down at the comment button, press it, and make your comments there. This is what yesterday's morning message and comments look like. You can see what everybody posted, their recordings and their comments. Yesterday, Lily wanted to post some work that she was proud of, and you can see where people below commented and gave her some good feedback on her work. We are not going to be doing this each day. I will let you know the things that we will be posting. As important as it is to know when to post and what to post, it's also very important to know how to comment on other people's work. The best comments help us learn something new and help the person who has posted something. Here are some good sentence starters to help you. Can you tell me more about? I wish I understood why. I am curious about. And you can finish those sentences and have a good conversation. I am looking forward to hearing your comments from our morning message. Have a great day of learning. Have a great coming weekend and high five.